What we have here is we have 3 times the square root of 5. Good? OK. So you have 3 times the square root of 5 squared. All right? So what you're going to look at right here is we need to remember what the squaring means. If I say 3 squared, that means 3 times 3, which we know the answer is 9, right? So x squared equals x times x. x plus 1 squared equals x plus 1 times x plus 1. It doesn't matter, or even if I do 3x squared, that equals 3x times 3x. So you guys need to remember, whenever we have a quantity squared, we need to multiply that quantity by itself. So therefore, this means 3 times square root of 5 times 3 times square root of 5. Now, when multiplying my numbers, I can multiply 3 times 3, which gives me 9. And then I need to multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Yes, your question? We don't have to because their, um, their quantities are just monomials. So we don't need to separate them. So if you're box, you really only have one length times one length. They're not separated by addition or subtraction. So that's why I don't need to do the box. And then this becomes 9. Now you can do 5 times 5, which is the square root of 25. So 9 equal, or sorry, 9 times 5 which equals 45. OK? You write that one down, Yusena? No?